Welcome back to another episode of Size Previews. As always, I'm Luke Matthews, joined by Chris Finns. So sit back, relax, let's get into it. So we're going to start up. I mean, every time right now I say we start for the bang on, I mean, it's, it genuinely feels the same. We kind of leaked these a couple of weeks ago and reaction was insane, yeah. wasn't it? I mean, it was insane. You, you said we start with a banger, but it, it's always a banger when it's a new balance sheet, let's be honest. It is. So this is the 1906R, and you're going to start with one people haven't even seen yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. But dropping something fresh and new on it. So this is the shoe, 1906R. Obviously, you'll see the same tooling. We've seen it on the 860 V2. We saw it on the 2002R as well quite recently. And this 1906, it seems to just take it perfectly. I mean, th th this shoe's great anyway. We've seen a couple of iterations already come through. We've put a few collabs coming through as well, which are, are all really strong. I mean, just the overlays on the shoe makes it really nice to work with and, and nice to do different things with, do you mean? And I think what we've done on this one is we've completely spiced it up a little bit, haven't we? We've gone, we've gone out there, you're not gonna see anything else really at the beginning of this kind of journey that's, that's similar to this, so we made it nice and spicy, nice and or fresh, should we even say? Fresh is a very good word and I think very apt for this color. And I mean, typically when you see the 1906, it's on the same tooling as the 2002, but for me, this is a lot more sporty. So yeah. when you see the colors come through in the range, there's a lot more sort of whites, metallic pops and meshes. And it's a lot more, you see the suede come through in the new books on 2002. Yeah. So we wanted to almost pay into that. It's quite outdoory, I'd say. And I mean, nothing no, no. feels more outdoor than the one you did see, which is this version. I mean, I'm already excited to get this dude. I mean, the reaction we've had to the shoe has been phenomenal, I know, let's be honest. These color, this colorway just works so well. Do you know what I mean, we, we, let's be honest, we, we had a few different kind of iterations of this, didn't we? We worked our, our way through to get to this finally, but yeah. when we got to it, the sample come in and literally, we opened the box like excitedly and straight away we're there, that was it, it was done. Pretty much it was done, the one, I mean, it was great. It just kind of knocked us over a little bit, didn't it? You know it's good when you get a pack, and firstly, there's a reason to want to buy both. Yeah. You're doing different jobs, but also you can't pick your favorite. Yeah. Because I swap all the time here. Uh, nah, I've got a favorite, I'll be honest with you. I mean, they're both great, but I, I think, I think. Does it? Favorite, yeah. But yeah, but you say that, but then whenever <laughs> you put that on, well, I tried this one on and it did look, it yeah, looked good, exactly. yeah, but, but I think this one, well, like you said, at the moment, who knows, so. But it's a great shoe and, and to work on something like this on, on another great New Balance project. So I want to carry out this next project. It's a Vans project coming and I'm conscious we've not launched the last Vans project we've previewed. Yeah, but it's, that, coming. it's coming. It's coming. No, it is coming. And it's I just want to say, a lot of these projects we're showing you, they're just kind of like a workshop sessions for us so some yeah. of these things are just they're still coming they're still being worked on we're gauging opinion they're not this is coming next month like we used to do yeah. so just be conscious that if we are showing projects they are all still coming and that's also what i wanted to say so this one does need to launch in october because this is for halloween and as you know whenever we do a project with vans it always needs a subtle anaheim dna undertone to it yes yeah, so what we've gone with on this one is uh, horror hotels was the kind of theme so i mean you might notice this one straight away it's not really in Han Anaheim, but it was on a film called The Shining, which I'm guessing most of you have watched, and if you've not, I suggest you go and watch it. And we referenced the famous Room 237 on this shoe, which you can see there with the colorways. If you watch that film, it's across the whole bathroom, and the carpet resembles this, and it's like a proper homage to that scene in the film. Yeah, and there's so many little details to the shoe. As always, we tell you a few, and then you've got to try and explore the others. There'll be a key on the back of the tongue, there's the picture from the wall on the footbed, and then one of my favorite features about both of these is yeah. the, the outsoles as well. Yeah. They look so good, and typically is in that waffle, but when you get a color on top of that, they look amazing. But the first shoe we actually did on the pack, which is where the Anaheim link comes from, yeah. is this one. Which is based on the, oh, I don't know if we can really sell this, yeah, but because it is a real horror hotel, so it's a Hotel Cecile, so I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people out there know what it is. I don't really want to go into details about it, but Google it. Yeah, I mean, there's it. been a lot of, dramas and films based on this hotel. What we focus on for the shoe part of it is the sort of art deco yeah. design nature and talk a lot of nods in terms of, feels quite regal. That's a lot of, there's a lot of details from the reception are in yeah, there. It's that kind of golden age, like Hollywood kind of that feel, California kind of feel to it. Yeah, and that's the angle we've gone to this shoe. You're more than welcome to look more into the hotel. It is a proper haunted hotel though. Like I said, some of the stories, are, uh, Pretty mad. I mean, another one to nod into here, how nice the footbed is. And yeah. There's some really nice details in these. You'll see some tassels on the latest, yeah. and it all dials up this whole art deco nature of the shoe. 
I think inside the show as well, like, like always, we kind of take that kind of storytelling to the next level. So you've got some really nice kind of graphics as well. The reference in the hotels that we're actually talking about. What I mean for me, this is probably one of the most detailed packs we've done when, when it comes to vans. I mean, we've really honed in on that kind of storytelling on this and the quality of the shoes is, is ridiculous. It's similar to like the new balance we talked about earlier on. This was one of them is that we give them a lot of information to to kind of digest and put onto a shoe and we had an idea how we want it to be and it's always a case of like you don't know if you're going to be able to interpret that kind of storytelling onto a pair of shoes but when we got these samples back it was ridiculously kind of accurate to what we wanted wasn't it and like I said the embroidery the tassels on the laces the footbed it was it's really good. Do you know what I'm going to do before we finish this episode? I'm going to throw in a, an extra shoe like we wouldn't ever normally do this and we're not going to spend a lot of time on it because you might already know what this shoe is yeah. but we've got something else coming it's a restock so you've seen it before but you know where these projects get restocked like drum roll, it? there's a demo. massive massive demand for this shoe and I mean it's the iconic size 550 it's going to literally be one for one exactly as it was yeah. we're bringing it back and I mean so many people missed out just because we there was not enough the demand was crazy yeah. hopefully it gives people another chance to get back in we don't really say anything else about that because no, as is. I mean, the shoes are exactly the same. Do you know what I mean? Just make sure you get it this time. Yeah, and that's what we want to say. We're now going to finish the episode with something else. But the size 550 returns, and this will be the last time it's back. So if you did want a pair, you missed out first time. Get it now. This is your time to get it. Okay, so we're going to finish the episode with the famous, iconic line of something very, very special, we which we're now calling it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, this one is one we've been trying to for a long time and again we've said this a lot but this time it's had to take a long time because to get this shape right it's taken years and years of tweaks years and years of just getting there and we feel now it's in a place where we can finally launch it and it's a very proud moment yeah. to finally reveal and say that returning in all its glory is adidas all black Ooh. and for me that looks like it's come straight out of the catalogue and the archive. Do you know what? Like this, you're not even exaggerating. This shoe we've been trying to get back for years, trying to get it right, trying to get the right shape, trying to get it on the right tool. And we didn't want it to bring it back in any other kind of shape or form. Just wanted to bring it back as one to one as we could get. And look at it, man. We've succeeded, haven't we? I mean, I feel like we all ourselves like pat on the back, and, and the and the guys that I, I did us also need a pat on the back for getting it to where it is now because it's it's unbelievable. Materials ridiculous. I mean, anybody who doesn't know about this in a 1980s kind of sports shoe from from them guys, and wow, it's here. Yeah, it's one that for me, until you're actually seeing the flesh, because a lot of times you don't see these shoes anyway. Yeah, it's hard to gauge it. The materials are incredible. The shape is perfect, and obviously it's all about the little details there yeah. as well. The tongue logo. That it's just for me the perfect one-to-one -one reissue of the shoe. Now it's similar to the conversation we had around jogging. When this shoe comes to market, it's yeah. going to be called All Team. But the start of something quite special, you will know there's other versions of the shoe that came out. There's potentially an all white. There might have been an all green back in the day. So there's various routes to take this shoe, but yeah. what a way to start with this version. Probably the most iconic and also the best time of year to drop yeah. this shoe because it's for me, that's gonna be such a sort of winter essential in I your mean, rotation. Just to, just to get it back as it is, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, just to have it back is is a moment, isn't it? But I think whenever, we don't do lots of black leather shoes. No. I remember us doing Stuttgart, and a lot of people in 2020 said, a bit, a bit controversial but it's the time. most worn shoe probably from, I mean, let us know if not, but for me, a lot of the people we speak to, they say Stuttgart was their most worn shoe because yeah. it was black leather. I remember doing that and thinking, are we doing the right thing, making it black leather at the time? But I mean, this shoe could have come back in any other guys because, do you mean, I know there's all green, I know there's all white. We might see them at some point, I don't know. I mean, I don't hold me to that. But, you couldn't bring this shoe back in any other color. No, you you know what I mean? no. This is what it's about. This is the when you think of a black Adidas shoe like retro or OG bring back, you think of this shoe. This what this yeah. black, you think of this one, don't you? Thanks for watching. As always, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the content got coming through. And in the meantime, there's always the size social channels. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>